few hobbies that I really geek out on. I've been into photography since I was probably 14 years old. When I get an old camera, open up the back of it and open up some film that I've chosen specifically for um, an effect that I want. Load it up. The film, it costs me something. So when I load it, I'm careful, I'm thoughtful. I take my time. When I, when I do take a picture and press that button, it isn't a spray and pray. And um, when I listen to a record, it's uh, similar to film. There is more intention. I dim the lights. I sit in just the right spot. This is something I do when I want to experience this music, when I want to be taken somewhere. That same kind of philosophy goes into how we prepare coffee, whether it's on the roasting side or, or even just making a single cup of coffee for myself or for um, one of our customers who goes to one of our cafes. Fertello Coffee started when my parents began uh, the coffee business back in 1974. And at that time, my parents were purchasing coffees and other consumable products from other roasters and suppliers. It wasn't until 1985 that my dad approached one of his suppliers here in Calgary, who was a local coffee roaster, and they ended up trading companies where my dad became the roaster and he became my dad's client. We've been roasting coffee since 1985, but I feel like just now is when we've been roasting the best coffees. Coffee to me is frustrating. <laughs> frustrating because it is so difficult. We put in so damn much work into that stupid cup of coffee. If we could only bring everybody to origin, you know, I want you to see what these families do. Every choice the coffee producer makes will affect the end cup that you taste in the cafe. Four years of work go into a coffee tree before you can even pick one bean. One coffee tree produces one pound of coffee a year. When I hear coffee bean ground, when you're roasting and you hear the first crack, you hear the beans popping, or when you hear the steam coming out of the beans when they're in this cooling tray. It isn't just something that you're hearing, but it literally means something to the process of the coffee. The most important to me are taste and smell. Everyone smells coffee. When you hand someone a fresh bag of coffee beans, they squeeze it and smell the beans. It's just automatic. When you give them a cup of coffee, they automatically smell it. The taste, whether it be during the cupping process, or when you're sitting down and enjoying just a cup of coffee, that to me I love. All five senses are constantly being engaged. And I think this is why people love coffee so much, is it isn't one dimensional. So what has helped us over the last probably six, seven years is just aligning ourselves with the right people. People who are totally into this stuff like we are. Some coffee roasters will rely on the importers to do their own cupping for them. This is how we used to do things. Uh, this was before we really discovered the art of cupping. And to me, the art of cupping is predicting the future of what a coffee bean will be. As you start tasting these coffees at origin, when they're at their freshest and the peak flavors, what does this coffee get to taste like once we put it through our roaster, once we put it through our systems? It's easy just to taste coffee and, and find the best flavor on the table at this very moment. But what will the best flavor be down the road? That's the art. The name analog for, for our coffee house is speaking to the way we make coffee, making it by hand, using all of our senses, all of our expertise. We think that produces a better cup of coffee. My brother and I have always wanted to have our own cafe. We've always wanted to have a voice on the street, somewhere where we could have a venue to communicate directly to our clients. We wanted an environment that we wanted to hang out in. To, to go to one of our coffee houses and actually see other people totally engaged in, maybe it's the coffee, maybe it's the experience of the cafe or each other, but just to be gathered around this simple cup of coffee and um, having fun or getting lost in the book or something. We just love this stuff. We love creating these experiences. When you have a professional barista, a professional roaster, 
who is passionate about their trade, preparing and handling your products for you. You can almost taste the passion. I think we are just in a great place right now where we are doing what we love, we are doing what we're good at, and we're not trying to be anything else. It's only through working with the right people that we're able to be where we are today and to go where we want to go next. The correlation between my love for listening to vinyl records and music, the connection is the love, the passion. Well, for us, our family, I mean, we've been in coffee for 25 years or more. This is not just work for us. We love this stuff. When people first get a coffee at Analog, I want them to have a true experience in every sense of the word. I want them to taste coffee. I don't want them to drink coffee.